from the Soul Taker's diehard fans providing their unwavering support, to the awe-inspiring silence he delivered to his haters after a first-minute victory. Let's talk about how the fans reacted to Tim Zhu versus Carlos Ocampo. Before we get into Tim Zhu and Carlos Ocampo's fight, let me give you a rundown of how both fighters look before their fight. Tim has been in fantastic form, with a record of 22-0, now 23-0. He's absolutely demolished everyone in his path. I mean, defending his interim championship against Carlos Ocampo was just the latest in a series of thrilling matchups for him. Zhu's fight with Terrell Gachet was probably the only real test for him. He faced a knockdown and found himself in a tight spot, but he showed true grit and determination, ultimately securing a victory. Zhu proved that he's not just a force to be reckoned with in the ring, but a world-class competitor. Now, Carlos is a veteran in the game, with a record of 35-2, now 35-3. He looks to set things right after a shaky loss via unanimous decision not too long ago against Sebastian Fundora. So, here's the thing. While Ocampo may not have a list of impressive wins, he did have a memorable encounter with Errol Spence Jr. It was back in 2018, and Ocampo was stepping into the ring for his 23rd pro fight. Exciting stuff, right? right? Well, unfortunately for Ocampo, his meeting with Spence didn't go exactly as planned. In fact, it ended with a jaw-dropping first-round knockout. If you watched this fight against Tim, I'm sure it felt like deja vu to you too. There's no doubt that the fans were excited about this matchup. I'm talking about a fight for the ages. A rising star against a veteran who's looking to turn things around. It was going to be a fight to remember. We all knew that. And it definitely did not disappoint. If you ask me, Tim Zhu definitely looked like the clear favorite to come out on top. I mean, he's been on fire lately, showcasing some impressive skills in the ring. Do you remember his previous fight? A nine-round thriller against Tony Harrison. If there was one thing to note in that fight, it's that Tim was a rising and unstoppable force. But let's talk about Carlos for a moment. Unfortunately, I can't say the same for him. The man has been on a losing streak, and things haven't been looking too promising for him. To be honest, he needed to pull off something truly extraordinary, something we've never seen before just to have a chance. And here's the spoiler, he didn't. I mean, really, he didn't stand a chance. The fight was over before it even started. It's a harsh reality, but it's true. Carlos has some serious soul-searching to do after this defeat. It's a moment that forces him to reflect deeply on his career and the path ahead. I'm sure you want to know what happened, so I won't waste any more time. If I had to describe the fight, I would use only two words, absolute domination. Tim Tzu made the biggest statement of his career with a jaw-dropping performance against Carlos Ocampo. The unbeaten Australian phenom proved once again why he's a force to be reckoned with, delivering a mind-blowing first-round knockout to retain his junior middleweight title. Believe me when I say the match was over before it even started. Zhu stepped into the ring with a lot on the line. Not only was he defending his title, but he was also risking his upcoming shot at Division King Jermel Charlo. The first big moment of the fight, Jermel puts Castaño down yet again. As their highly anticipated unified title fight got delayed due to Charlo's injuries, but Zhu didn't let any of that distract him. From the moment the bell rang, he unleashed a vicious assault on Ocampo, overwhelming the Mexican star with his relentless power and precision. It was like watching a hurricane of punches raining down on Ocampo, who couldn't find a single opening to land a shot of his own. Just when he thought things couldn't get any more intense, Zhu landed a crushing overhand right that sent Ocampo crashing to the canvas in just 77 seconds. Yeah, you heard that right. Less than a minute into the fight, Ocampo beat the count, but Zhu wasn't finished. He continued his onslaught, unleashing another hard right hand that rocked Ocampo. And then, with a thunderous left hook, Zhu sealed the deal, snapping Ocampo's head and forcing the referee to step in and stop the fight. I was glued to my seat watching everything unfold, and so were many others. Man, Tim Zhu is not just winning these fights, he's leaving no doubt in anyone's mind that he's the real deal. He's not just squeaking by with close victories, he's dominating his opponents and showing everyone that he deserves that super welterweight strap. It's incredible to see him rise to such prominence in the boxing world, and guess who's giving him props? None other than Sean Porter, a former two-time champion himself. And still, WBC welterweight champion of the world, Showtime, Sean Porter. 
Porter believed Zoo deserves the favoritism when it comes to that epic showdown against Charlo. That's some serious validation right there. Oh, and let's not forget about Tony Harrison, the guy Zoo defeated not too long ago. Even Harrison had to take to Twitter and give credit where credit's due. He said that was impressive. And you know what? He's absolutely right. Zoo's performance was nothing short of mind-blowing. It's no surprise that fans are all hyping Tim now. You know what they say, when a boxer as legendary as Terence Crawford speaks, you better listen up. And guess what? He's got some high praise for Tim. Crawford, the undefeated champion with an impressive 39-0 record and titles across three weight divisions, doesn't mince words when it comes to Zoo. In fact, he sums Tim up in just one word, dangerous. The fight may be over, but the fighters still have a lot more left in them. Tim's win was a state for the boxing world. The soul taker is hungry to win more and he's setting his eyes on Jamel Charlo. After his win, Tim was set on going after Jamel and wasted no time in throwing taunts. And you know what? I think Tim is absolutely justified in doing so. He's coming off that stunning 77 second win, proving that he's a force to be reckoned with. The fact that the fight even happened was because Jamel injured himself and instead of honoring his commitment to face Tim, he decided to challenge another boxer. That's just not right. Let's not forget about how Jermel blamed Australia's tap water for Tim's win. I mean, have you heard anything as absurd as that? But enough about Jermel's antics. Let's focus on the exciting news. Rumor has it that Tim and Jermel might finally step into the ring against each other as early as September. Can you imagine the anticipation and the fireworks that will ensue? Boxing fans, get ready for a treat, because this showdown is going to be one for the books. As for Carlos, I don't know what to tell you guys. The guy hasn't spoken out yet, and there's nothing suggesting that he'll be fighting anytime soon. One thing's for sure, the veteran's gonna have to take a long, hard look at himself before he gets back into the ring. Tim was putting a lot on the line for this fight, and it sets him up perfectly to go on and win the championship. While we eagerly wait for some news on Carlos Ocampo, let me talk a little bit about Tim. When it comes to the upcoming fight between Tim Zhu and Jermel, things are heating up. Sure, Jermel might still be considered the favorite, but that doesn't mean Tim is backing down. No way. He's been on a roll, shutting up all those haters and riding the wave of success. Went down the fight will be over. Yeah, Zoo go. pressing oh! forward. And this is a massive shot. But here's the thing. With all this success comes a whole new level of pressure. Tim has set the bar high for himself, and you better believe the fans are going to expect nothing less than greatness from him. I can just imagine the anticipation in the air. The fans are buzzing, hoping to witness another sensational performance from Tim. They're hungry for more knockouts, more displays of his incredible skills. It's like the whole boxing world is holding its breath, waiting to see what Tim will bring to the table this time. But you know what? I have faith in Tim. He's proven time and time again that he's up to the challenge. He's got that fire in his eyes, that determination to not only meet but exceed expectations. The pressure is on, but I have a feeling Tim is going to embrace it and deliver a performance that will leave us all in awe. Let's see how this thrilling chapter of Tim Zoo's journey unfolds. From the awe-inspiring silence he delivered to his haters after a first-minute victory, to the Soul Taker's die-hard fans providing their unwavering support, those were just some of the fans' reactions to Tim Zoo versus Carlos Ocampo. 